I can't believe we are actually doing this. That I'm here to marry my best friend is the abs the, and the absolute love of my life may be the, mess, the next best miracle after the resurrection of Jesus. <laughs> You're the most handsome and beautiful person I've ever seen. And it's not just because of the world's greatest smile or those cute eyes. It's because of the way you love and care for me and others. How you carry yourself, serve God and his people selflessly. Lead and preach. Your essence is so intentional and genuine. I'm so blessed to be your partner, Joshua. Thank you. Thank you for shaping my, full, my past four years and filling them with what a beautiful life is made of. We have laughed, prayed, cried, <laughs> battled, danced, adventured, and lived such a full life together. I'm excited that now we get to walk in tandem for the rest of our lives. If someone had told me the first day I met you that I would be here today, <laughs> Debbie, Debbie did for the record. Yeah. I would have called them a crook. I'm the happiest girl. You have loved me in ways I never imagined possible. You have fought for me. You have carefully and prayerfully guarded our love and helped me navigate some of the most difficult, ugly, broken parts of my life. You are the ultimate gift from God, my first and last love. We stand here obviously because of God, but we also stand here because we ne you never gave up. We never gave up. Besides, you're the only man <laughs> Mama Jo and Debbie ever approved of. I can't wait to grow old with you. To have kids with your <laughs> head. <laughs> and my jawline. <laughs> To travel together and spread the word of, of God and his love all over the world. When I look at you, I see a resilient, unique, humble, grounded man. I also see a man that God has chosen to be an heir for this generation. I'm amazed by how God loves his people through, how, through your hunger and determination to see them freed and saved. Today, before our closest friends, relatives, well wishes, and those on the, on the fence, and most importantly before our Heavenly Father who has brought our hearts in purity all this while, I express my love and commitment to you. As we begin in the great adventure of building a godly home, may God be the leader and guide of our home. May be He be the anchor and center of our being, our fortress, our shield in whom we'll always take refuge and seek grounding. As your wife, I vow to continue to respect and appreciate you for the person you are and wish to become. I will to uplift you. To uplift you and wait with you in moments of drought and storm and support and celebrate you in days of sunshine and rain. To listen to you and seek counsel for you. I'll stand with you prayerfully, physically, emotionally, treat you with compassion and understanding. I vow to fiercely love you and protect you forever. I love you, Joshua. Kwa and I'm ready to be your wife. <laughs>